All the commands and info can be found in the Athena documentation. We're going to start off by opening port 7788, and then we're going to go ahead and install libatomic1. Next, we're going to install git, and then we're going to install curl. Great. Now we're going to install NVM, which is used to install Node.js and NPM. This is a multi-step process, so there's more things we have to do. So now we're installing NVM. We're going to do a source bash here so we can uh, have access to the commands. Then we're going to install Node.js 14. And then we're going to just check the versions to make sure everything is there. So we have version 14 of Node and 6.14 of NPM. All right, now we're going to go ahead and download uh, MongoDB. There is, this is also a multi-step process as well, so expect to run multiple commands here. Uh, and after we get it installed and we run our update and everything, um, we're going to go ahead and check the status of the MongoDB server to make sure uh, you know it's not immediately just running uh, after we get it installed here. just about wrapping this up. Okay, let's go ahead and check that status. Press Q and enter to exit the status check here. Okay, now let's go ahead and start the MongoDB server. And there's our status there as well, and it does look like it's running. Now what we're going to do is clone down the Athena repository. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and cd into the directory. You should see a list of files here, all sorts of stuff going on in here. Now we're going to run an npm install to install all the Node.js dependencies. And this will take just a moment. Then we're going to go ahead and do a submodule update. Okay, that's usually really quick. And then we're just going to do an npm run update, which is going to download the latest uh, release version of Alt-V, as well as validate our packages, and uh, also a few other steps as well to make sure everything is uh, exactly how it's intended to run. And that all looks good. All right, so now what we can do is uh, we're going to actually put in our Gumroad license key or in our email as well. So we're going to use Nano, which is a text editor, and it's going to be a .env file. So here we can put our Gumroad key, and down here we can go ahead and put our email. Obviously I'm not going to show you these, because why would I ever do that? <laughs> okay, and if you press Control X, and then Enter, or, or Y, and then Enter, it'll uh, save the file to your uh, directory here. And then what we can do is we can do npm run Linux, and that's going to start up our server. We're going to get an error because obviously I didn't use the right key, but I'm going to show you uh, later on in this video that this does work with the correct uh, license keys and everything. So there we go. It says your license expired or invalid. Please either resubscribe or verify your EV file. Okay. So I've, ed I've edited the env file in the background, and we now have, uh, we're going to be running this uh, on Linux again with the correct license key. And as you can see, we're starting to propagate the server, and it is now officially loaded. So we have 589 interaction points, and you can now join the server.